I don't know about you, but I love avocado. And today we're going to make one of my favorite Mexican dip guacamole using ripe avocado. So to make guacamole, we're going to use three large ripe avocados. We start off by cutting each avocado in half lengthwise and gently twist the two halves until they come apart. Then plunge the knife into the pit and twist to remove the pit. Then use a spoon to scoop out the avocado flesh into a bowl. Having ripe avocados is very important for making guacamole. So to check the ripeness of avocado, you can gently press your finger into the skin of avocado. Ripe avocado will feel lightly soft but not mushy. Also ripe avocado has darker skin compared to the unripe one. Now we're going to use a fork or potato masher to mash up the avocados until desired consistency. You can make it smooth or chunky depending on your taste. Now to prevent browning and oxidation of avocados, we squeeze the juice from one lime over avocados, then mix and set aside. Next comes the jalapeno pepper. First we remove the stem, then slice in half and use a spoon to scrape out the seeds and membrane to make it milder. You can leave the seeds if you prefer more spicy guacamole, but I remove it. Then we're going to finely chop it. Next we dice up one medium tomato. I like to use Roma tomato because of the texture. Here is a tip. If you want to get rid of the excess liquid, you can remove the seeds before dicing, but I like to keep it. Next, we finely dice half of a medium red onion. Normally white onion is used for guacamole, but I always choose red onion for my salad and raw foods. Then finely chop cilantro or coriander. Next comes the garlic. Cut up the end from one clove garlic and then peel it. Now we're gonna add our chopped tomato, cilantro and onion to the avocados. Then add the chopped jalapeno and press the garlic. Finally, we season with third of a teaspoon of cumin powder and half a teaspoon of salt. Stir them together gently until they are well combined. And this is how simple it is to make guacamole. Now, to have more flavorful and refreshing guacamole, I do recommend to cover it and let it stay in the fridge for at least half an hour before serving. And if you don't serve it right away, place a plastic wrap directly on guacamole to prevent oxidation and browning of avocados. You can serve this guacamole as a dip with nacho chips and veggies, or spread it on your sandwich or toast, or just enjoy it on its own. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any comments and tips, feel free to share with me in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.